Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a vital topic for the future of Philippine defense. Local shipbuilders who have the capability to construct future warships for the Philippine Navy. This is in line with the Self-Reliant Defense Posture, or SRDP, the government's long-term vision to reduce dependence on foreign defense suppliers and strengthen our local defense industry. As maritime threats and regional tensions continue to grow, building warships locally is not just a matter of pride, but national security. So let's explore the top five local shipbuilders that could shape the future of our naval forces. Number five, Dynacast Shipbuilding and Repair Incorporated, Deneo, Cebu. Located in the heart of Cebu, Dynacast Shipbuilding may not be as big as some major players, but they've quietly made a name for themselves. Track record, built multiple high-speed boats and patrol vessels for the Philippine Coast Guard, PCG, PNP Maritime Group, and the Bureau of Customs. Known for aluminum hull fabrication, modular design techniques, and fast turnaround construction. Why it matters, specializes in smaller, fast response craft, which are crucial for maritime law enforcement, anti-smuggling operations, and archipelagic patrol missions. Their scalability and modularity make them ideal for mass-producing interdiction and literal combat vessels. Potential role. They could be tapped to build swarm-capable patrol boats, fast-attack interdiction craft, and literal surveillance boats. Number four, Josefa Slipways Incorporated Sewell Pangasinan. Josefa Slipways is a rising star in shipbuilding. Located in the strategic municipality of Sewell in Pangasinan. Track record, delivered multi-mission patrol vessels for the Philippine Coast Guard and Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, BFAR. Notably constructed multi-role response vessels, MRRVs, designed to conduct both search and rescue and maritime security missions. Capabilities, operates a large dry dock and assembly facility capable of handling vessels up to 1,000 tons. Focus on steel hull designs with robust endurance. Suitable for exclusive economic zone, easy patrols. Potential role could be scaled up to construct larger corvette-sized ships, auxiliary vessels, or support platforms for maritime domain awareness. Interesting fact, Josefa Slipways has shown a willingness to collaborate with foreign partners for technology transfer which could accelerate their growth in naval design capability. Number three, PropMet Corporation, Subic Bay. Based in the Subic Freeport Zone, PropMet Corporation is one of the most experienced defense-oriented shipbuilders in the country. Track record, built the multi-purpose attack craft, MPAC, used by the Philippine Navy. These fast attack boats are capable of missile launches, troop transport, and high-speed interdiction. Technical Edge, partnered with Taiwan's Lung Tate Shipbuilding for hull design and Israel's Raphael for the Spike ER missile integration on MPAC Mark III and Mark IV. Proven experience integrating weapons systems, radar and C4I, command, control, communication, computers and intelligence into locally built hulls. Potential role could be a key player in building missile boats, small corvettes, or amphibious support ships in the future. Defense SRDP Contribution PropMec is a perfect example of how joint ventures can upskill local shipbuilders, making them capable of producing offensive naval platforms under SRDP. Number two, Sunaishi Heavy Industries, Balamban, Cebu. Sunaishi Heavy Industries, a Japanese-Filipino joint venture, is located in Balamban, Cebu, and is one of the largest commercial shipbuilders in the country. Track record, builds bulk carriers and tankers up to 180,000 DWT for global export. While not yet involved in direct warship production, its infrastructure, engineering capacity, and high build quality make it a prime candidate. 
Strategic value. Their shipyard includes massive assembly halls, high capacity gantry cranes, and advanced welding facilities. Already exports to Europe and Japan, indicating high compliance with international standards. Defense cooperation opportunity. Philippine-Japan defense collaboration could lead to technology transfer for frigate hull design, patrol vessels, or even support ships. Japan's defense industry has shown increasing willingness to support Philippine SRDP initiatives. Potential role could be converted into a dual use yard, building both commercial and military ships, including auxiliary vessels, LSTs, or even frigates with foreign design assistance. Number one, Austal Philippines, Balamb and Cebu. At the top of our list, is Austal Philippines, the Filipino branch of Austal LTD, an Australian shipbuilding giant with an international reputation. Track record, built naval ships for the US Navy, such as the Littoral Combat Ship, LCS, and Expeditionary Fast Transport, EPF. In 2019, Austal was selected to build six offshore patrol vessels. OPVs for the Philippine Navy under the Horizon 2 modernization program. However, in 2022, that contract was awarded to Hyundai Heavy Industries of South Korea after a price increase from Austal. Advanced Capability Austal Philippines is the largest aluminum shipbuilder in Southeast Asia. Uses a modular construction process, improving build speed and reducing air margins has a dedicated workforce of over 1,000 engineers, welders, and naval architects, most of whom are Filipino. SRDP Potential Austal is already committed to supporting SRDP through local fabrication and assembly. Offers proven OPV and Corvette designs that can be customized for Philippine needs. Can serve as a training ground for naval systems integration helping build the next generation of Filipino shipbuilders. Future role could lead a fleet-wide modernization effort from OPVs, Corvettes, to even next-generation amphibious and command ships if supported by government investment. So there you have it. From high-speed interceptors to frigate-scale builders, the Philippines already has the industrial backbone to build its own fleet with the right government support and foreign partnerships. The future of Philippine naval power doesn't have to come from abroad. With SRDP and the rising capabilities of local shipbuilders, we are one step closer to defending our waters with Filipino-built warships. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you don't miss our next video on Philippine defense modernization.